This channel is for educational purposes only. Please do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. Hi, this is Joe Rabel with Invest Like a Pro. So today I want to talk about the third trade. I mean, for the most part, I talk about two main trades that I think are very important, the breakout trade and the pullback trade. And uh, what I'd like to do today is talk about the reversion trade, which is counter trend. Um, it's very important to have in your arsenal, in my opinion, just because uh, I think if you have it, there are times where it's kind of like the only trade that exists in the market. And so, um, you know, to prevent yourself from forcing trades, you want to have the ability to take this trade and know what the rules are, or at least what you what you should be looking for. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this example. So um, I've got 3M up. And it's a three time frame trade. Uh, we've got three time frames that we're looking at. Um, number one is the weekly. Now, I mean, I like to look at them, always like to look at the monthly as a reference point. We can see this had dropped down a lot and come down to this prior low area. MACD had also dropped down from the zero line. Um, so we know we've got on the monthly chart, we certainly have some room, but that's not as important here. I just like to have it support my thesis. Now, one thing that's really nice on a monthly is if you can come down to major support. So this didn't quite make it, but it got pretty close. I mean, the 100 number, big round number, and this big breakout area. So we knew we were in the area um, of the next big support zone. So that's number one. Uh, I, again, I don't typically worry too much about that. And you can get by without looking at this big time frame. But the, the main one I'm looking at is this weekly chart. Now we can see that we've got a downtrend in place. And notice how we've got strong momentum in place. We don't have any momentum divergence. Um, we've got moving averages that are moving down at about the same rate. However, notice when the stock gets stretched away from the 18. OK, you want to know that. And you also you can just kind of look and see if you drew in. Um, let me just connect this. You can see the channel, the lower ch channel boundary line acting as support on all these pullbacks. That's nice supporting evidence. But the main thing I'm looking at is I've got some distance here. Now, one of the key things is there is no divergence. There's no really no divergence, even though this ADX is dropping. It made a really strong reading. So I'm not and, and really red DI did not diverge. So I wouldn't really constitute any of this as divergence at all. But we do have this distance between the 18 and price. So I know I can kind of play for a rally given the right set of circumstances in any one of these uh, situations where we get stretched away. So that's one thing. That's kind of like the first starting point. The second thing is on the next time frame. So if I'm looking at this area here, I'm looking here on the daily chart, the next time frame, the lower, next smaller time frame. And what I'm looking for is um, a divergent pattern. OK, so uh, I can see that this made a lower low in price and MACD not only makes a higher low, but it actually holds the signal on. Now, in this type of trade, I'm not usually focused on ADX. OK, I, I, you could almost ignore ADX for this type of trade because we're going to play a counter trend trade. It's not a reversal of the trend. And that's really where the ADX comes into play. Count, uh, a counter trend rally which is what these are, where you're getting these rallies back to the moving average, is, is not necessarily going to be confirmed by ADX. So I want to make sure that's clear. I'm using MACD mostly for this trade. So I've got uh, a, uh, I'm stretched away on the weekly chart. On the daily chart, I've got divergence in place. All right. And I really love this pattern where it's a divergent pinch. And just to zero in on that, we make this lower high, lower high, lower high, little tiny little bar. And all of these are holding above the, uh, the uh, MACD. See that pinch? And it looks like a little duck bill. Those are basically the best um, pinch plays. And also notice how the signal line is rising. OK, so we have a lot of good things going on here from that standpoint. And we know we're stretched away. Now, all I'm doing on this time frame is saying, I want to get in somewhere down in here if I can, if I get the opportunity and play it for a move back to the moving average. And that's it. 
I'm not playing for I'm not playing for a hero. I'm not trying to reverse the trend. I'm just looking for a reversion back to a moving average where I've gotten stretched away. So I've got this point in place. I'm stretched away. I've got point two. We've got divergence in place. And now I go to my entry time frame. And in a lot of cases, the entry time frame is going to be a one, two, three. But if you notice, we never got so this is the part of the downtrend. I wouldn't really be able to draw a downtrend line because we never got an intermittent rally. There is no swing in here to be able to draw a trend line. So that one is going to happen periodically. And what I noticed, though, is that here's where the 18 crosses down below the 40. And you notice how we don't go in the zone? I mean, this crosses over and it just keeps dropping and dropping and dropping. And then when it finally gets back into the zone, now it goes in and then it tries to hold, but then this is your gift, basically. You get a test of the low, a true test. Now, this would have been fine if it held from here and turned up and made your one, two, three that way. But getting this bottom here, we know that we have a pretty strong test of a low. And then coming back up through this peak here uh, really gives us a, um, a buy signal. Now, I want to point a few things out. Number one, we were forming a pinch play up until the point that this gap down, okay? Um, number two, we were holding the 18, which was turning around before this gap down. And if you notice, by the end of the bar, it was still rising. So if you were looking at this on a closing line, you would have said, you know, it did exactly what you would have thought. It held the 18 and then it ended up breaking out. Um, the other thing that I'll mention here is that we had a pretty big reading here, but I'm playing this for a reversion back to the 18 on the weekly chart, and I've got divergence on this time frame. This is the trading time frame. This is the time frame I'm trading off of. This is just my entry time frame. So if I'm going to take this trade, there's, there's you know, I can do this move coming back up. So even if this didn't gap down, if this came up and went back up through this peak here, I would have had a nice uh, pinch play, really two time frame pinch play to get in. And I would have probably waited for this to come back up through this 110 area and get back above the moving averages. Now, there, there is something I think is kind of important. Anytime, whether you have a trend line or not, anytime you go into the zone for the first time, you want to watch when it comes out of the zone. And this didn't really come out of the zone through this whole period. You notice that it came down and it kind of held the 18. This was the first time it came out of the zone to the downside, meaning we had a decline. It had an 18 below a 40, both lines declining. We want to see, is this really a sell signal or is this a failed sell signal? Is it a sell signal that's going to fail? The only way to know that is to get some kind of an approach to these lows or a move outside both the 18 and the 40 and, and an attempt to decline. We hadn't had that yet. This big gap down gave us that. And then we came down and test the low. And instead of taking it out, we reverse on a dime and turn back up to the upside. So um, I'm, you know, I, I'm attracted to this pattern periodically, depending on the type of environment we're in. Now, you can use a monthly, weekly, daily if you want. So if this was stretched away and this gave momentum divergence, which it didn't, then you could have played the reversal off the daily chart. Okay, you see what I mean? So if this was a divergent bottom, when we're stretched away here, now the target would have been 150, you know, up towards the 18 month line, and you would have been in off of this and played it for a bigger move. You can do it on any three time frames you want. Uh, the point I want to make is that you're using the highest time frame, which is the weekly in this case, is shown as stretched away. The daily time frame. Uh, in this case, is the tradable time frame is showing a divergent pattern, a divergent pinch. And then I'm getting my trigger off of the smallest time frame, and usually in the form of a one, two, three. Break of the trend line, come back and test and turn back up. Sometimes the trend line is hard to draw. And so you're looking for this kind of reversal where you're waiting for it to come back up through this prior peak here. And that's a pretty good signal in this case uh, after testing the low. So hope this makes sense. Go ahead and post any questions or comments and uh, we'll see you next time.